Hey everybody, how you doing? Hint Weapons back again with you. Got uh, another upgrade to share with you today on the Vepper rifle here. This is the 762x54R in the 16.5 inch barrel. Uh, this is video 2 out of the series that I'll be doing on all of the upgrades for this rifle. Uh, today we're going to be covering the pistol grip. Uh, the last video that we did we put on the bone steel folding stock uh, and removed the original thumb hole wood stock that came with this rifle. Um, so what we need to do now is put a pistol grip on this gun. Uh, the one I chose to use, and you're actually able to use any standard AK-47 uh, grip that you want, but this one is from ATI. It is the AK-47 Scorpion Recoil Pistol Grip. And uh, I purchased this on Amazon.com. It ran a total of, uh, I think, right around $32. So it wasn't too bad in price. Uh, after doing some research, I did notice that there are two versions of it. There's an older generation and then this newer generation. And really it comes down to the, uh, the way that the top uh, is kind of formed here and the way it uh, attaches to the uh, rifle itself. And this uh, generation 2 is, is much better. So just kind of keep that in mind if you're uh, interested in getting one of these grips that there are two different versions. Uh, real quickly, this shouldn't be too difficult of a install here. It did come with a nice package, which was kind of surprising for ATI and just being a, a cheap pistol grip. It's you know not not that uh, usually it doesn't come with this kind of uh, packaging, but that was kind of nice. Got to me pretty quick from Amazon.com. Does come with some general instructions, but it's pretty much the uh, same as any other pistol grip. It is actually kind of an unusual design, though. I'll have to give them that. It does, uh, when I first got it, I was a little confused. I didn't know what, what was going on. It actually had some uh, spacing here along the back here, and I thought maybe, you know, it's, it's a two-piece or something, and it's loose, so I tried pushing it in. Read the instructions, which I probably should have done uh, to begin with, but actually what it is is it, it comes apart here. You just kind of slide this down. I can do this here on the camera for you. Just kind of slide this down and pull it apart here. And it's like I said, a two-piece. There we go, we kind of got it. And it comes apart there. And uh, it allows you to access the Allen wrench in the back here. This isn't uh, any kind of compartment, I wouldn't think, but um, yeah, it's just, like I said, a two-piece type of pistol grip, which I'm not really used to on an AK-47, so that was kind of interesting. Uh, it also did come with the uh, included hardware set here to do the installation which included the nut for the inside of the receiver as well as uh, a bolt and um, locking washer to lock that into the bolt and then a couple little screws here that I guess hold the, the two pieces together once you have all that installed so not too difficult of an install beyond you know just what a normal pistol grip would be anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with removing the uh, dust cover. I'm going to try to do this without getting in the camera for you guys. So I apologize if I'm covering up anything. I'm just going to remove the uh, spring and the bolt and bolt carrier, which kind of opens up the the bottom in here where we need to put that uh, that bolt in there, the pistol grip nut, I guess I, you should say. Um, the nut itself, when you're putting that in there, and what I usually do is I kind of tilt this um, safety selector upwards. It kind of just gives you a little bit more room to work in there. If you didn't have the uh, stock on here, you'd also have a little bit more room as well. But uh, for me, taking off the stock really isn't necessary. When you put this in here, you just kind of want to remember that when you, when you have your pistol grip, that it kind of tilts towards the back of the stock. So uh, when you got this, this nut here, it does have a bigger end on the top here and that's the end you want to have going towards the stock. I hope that makes sense but uh, it's not too difficult to figure out. You'll know if you have it in backwards. And then in the inside of the receiver here obviously you have uh, just a hole in the bottom here and this bone steel stock is actually uh, secured as well with this this uh, pistol grip nut so it's uh, good to have a nice secure lock on this. My finger is having a hard time getting down in here to place this so what I'm actually going to do is Use a pliers and or a pick here just to kind of get it in the right position. Bear with me. Like I said, if you have the stock off, sometimes it's a little bit easier, but it causes you a lot of extra work having to take the stock off. So, and, uh, catch 22. 
There we go. So it just lays right in there, not too difficult. What you want to do is put your finger on the, the bolt and hold that in place, kind of flip it up, and now you notice when I have it on here that the uh, it's kind of tilted back towards the stock, like I said. So we'll go ahead and disassemble our two-piece pistol grip. We'll go ahead and put the pistol grip in position here, as you can see, just like that. And then what we want to do is we're, as we're holding our our bolt there, again put this into position, we want to take our lock washer and screw that's going to be holding this, this is an Allen wrench. We'll get the proper Allen wrench here, I didn't actually look at that ahead of time, probably should have made it a little easier if you had the right tool ready. And we'll just twist it in, tighten it up. You guys probably heard my sub pump. I tell you what, that thing is about to give out, I think. i got to get a new one installed pretty darn quick here. Last thing I need down here is an inch of water or anything more than an inch of water on the basement floor. It would just suck. And I'm thinking I got contact, but I do not. to tell if you're getting it in there or not. Just give it a little bit of pressure. Kind of hope for the best. Again, I'm trying to do this without getting in the camera view, so I apologize if I'm covering anything up, guys. I think I got her this time, though. We'll tighten that up pretty good. You don't want it too tight. You don't want to over torque it. One uh, tip I always use is the one finger here. If you just use one finger to torque it, as much torque as you can give with one finger is kind of what you want. And that's pretty tight. That's pretty solid. And if it loosens up, you can always go back and uh, you know put a little bit more pressure on it. No big deal. Maybe I'll just try tightening just a bit more with my finger. a little bit left there it looks like but you don't want to over torque it so there we go that's the first piece on there now what we're going to do is slide the second piece of the grip together which covers up all that uh, internal stuff and then we'll go ahead and uh, screw in these two screws here which hold the two pieces together again a really unusual design I'm not I've never seen anything like that before Sure, it's not a uh, new design by ATI by any means, but one that I've never seen, so it's kind of unusual. Let's go ahead and torque those in here. Overall, pretty nice uh, grip, though. Looks a lot like my Mako ergonomic grip that I had on my Draco. I really like that grip, but fortunately, that's is Israeli design and manufactured, so to, uh, to meet 922R compliance, I wasn't able to use that on this rifle was able to use it on my Draco pistol because uh, pistols don't have to meet uh, 922R compliance so it's kind of an interesting fact if you have a AK-47 pistol you can put as many uh, foreign parts on it as you want but uh, here it is on the uh, Vepa rifle looks pretty nice it's a beefier it's definitely a beefier grip than you're used than I'm used to at least for most AK-47s but it does give you a lot of stability. I'm actually able to hold this rifle with one hand without any problems whatsoever. The weight of the rifle doesn't make a difference. So uh, overall, it gives you a really good contact with the grip, really good contact with the gun, and an overall pretty good upgrade. Looks pretty good on this gun as well. My uh, second choice of this was going to be a Hogue um, AK-47 grip, which a lot of people are familiar with. That's a good grip as well, but it just didn't have the beef to it. I like a, a bigger, beefier type of grip. It, just gives me a better hold on it personally so uh, tell me what you guys think if you think that uh, was a good choice or if you would have recommended something else certainly would like to hear that otherwise if you have any questions let me know and uh, until next time guys appreciate you watching and take it easy